And now for our simple triceratops, we'll be using two 260. Each one is blown up with about a four inch bubble up on the end. We're gonna take one of them, we're gonna start, we're gonna make about um, a two inch bubble on the end there. This is gonna be his first horn. Then we're gonna make a little small round bubble right behind it. Make that into a pinch twist. And we're gonna make another bubble the same size. Make that into a pinch twist as well. So you've got a bubble and two pinch twists. Now we're gonna make about a two to two and a half inch bubble. And we're gonna make another small bubble. Make this into a pinch twist as well. Now we're gonna make the rest of his head. This will be his head here, so we need two more bubbles the same size as this. We're gonna make this into a bird body by going up to the double pinch twist and then back into there. So make the first bubble, just like that. Lock it into those two pinch twists there. And then another bubble the same size coming right back. And now we're gonna make the frill that goes across the back of his head. What we're gonna do is make about a two inch bubble, inch and a half to two inch bubble there. And we're gonna make a little small round bubble here. Make this into a pinch twist. And then you're gonna come across what would be the back of this frill. We're gonna make about a six or seven inch bubble there. Another little small round bubble. Make that a pinch twist. And then we need a bubble the same size as this one right over here. Just like that. And we're gonna bring this and twist it into this pinch twist at the back here of the head. Just twist that around to lock it in place. And what you have now is this is the frill that goes across the back of his head and this is the second of three horns. The Triceratops, as you know, has three horns. So now we're gonna take our second 260 we're going to need a bubble the same size as this one here. And then we're going to twist it in at the base of the head here. Just wrap that around really good. There we go. And what you do, you're going to get Feel to kind of stand up a little bit behind the horns like that. That's going to be the head of our triceratops. And that pinch press goes on the bottom and the back and what that does is pushes the neck out and it forces that frill to stand up behind his horns there. Now we're going to make a little small neck about a three quarter inch bubble there. Then we're going to make a little small round bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. We're going to make two front legs to make about a two inch bubble. Another bubble the same size. Lock that into the pinch twist. And we're going to come make about a two and a half to three inch bubble for his body. Another small round bubble. Make that into a pinch twist as well. And we're going to make his two back legs. Make sure they're about the same size as the front legs. So make two bubbles and then lock back into the pinch twist. And I was kind of skinny, so I'm going to complete his body by again making this a bird body. So I'm going to, what I have left, I'm going to come up to this pinch twist here and then come back down with two bubbles and what's left over will then be his tail. So we need a bubble the same size as that. I'm going to push that around his front legs. And then one more bubble the same size and come back to this pinch twist on his back end. there. And what's left over becomes his tail. And now we're going to take our Sharpie. And I'm just going to, for simplicity's sake, just draw two little eyes here on the side of his head. And there's your little Triceratops.